what's going on guys welcome back got a nice little play for you guys man I've been uh looking over the minnesota vikings playbook and i found this uh bunch formation but it's uh it's empty bunch you know, i haven't seen that being used too much and uh some real nice plays man if you like passing the ball this is a nice formation you know to to get in and you know just Slang the rock around, man. Let's, let's jump into this. Again, man, thank all you guys who have already subscribed to the channel. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Hopefully you like what you see and you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But let, let's get into this. The empty bunch. That's the, that's the formation. And uh, there's a lot of nice plays in here. But the play we're going to go over, Vikes Trail. Let's, uh, let's jump into this. We'll go against random. This is the play art right here. What I like to do that little angle route by R1. I like to put him on a streak. What that does is the the little angle route or boomerang route, like I like to call it by circle, is a one play touchdown by streaking R1. If they're running cover three, and if you have a speedy receiver at the at the where at the spot circles at, if they're running like cover one man. You just pass the leader to the outside, and it's a it's a touchdown every time. Now you still got some nice routes on the on the backside. You got you know a corner route by triangle, a nice cover two beat you know route right there. But what I like to do is square. I'll put square on the end route just so I have something coming back just like that. And it's just making your reads, man. You know just somebody's gonna be open. Like I've ran this and just. If you like passing the ball, man, this is a fun formation. This is a fun, you know, raw combination to be in. And uh, what people essentially do against me when I run this is play uh, and and there's a one play touchdown. So what people essentially do against me when I run this formation is they tend to play fag D. They'll rush one lineman and um, and put like one in a spy and drop the other one into coverage. But let's go ahead and put R1 on the streak again. Now, this the this is the unique thing about this route. If you want that one play touchdown, you know, if they run cover three, you got that every time. But you can uh you can play around with this. Let's let's put triangle on a slant. We'll leave we'll leave square on this little smoke screen. If you want that delayed, you know, route that everybody be running out of a uh, bunch where they motion the, the outside receiver on the bunch to the outside and then snap it as soon as he gets there and he gets that little delayed reaction. You can do that with triangle or anybody else for that matter. Anybody except circle. So let's uh, let's motion this guy. As you can see, he delays for a second. And then... Uh, no, we got sacked right there. Let's let's run that again. They're they're going man right here, so he should be open. But you get that you get that little delayed reaction. You know you can just pass it to him. Now let me show you this again. This time I'm gonna motion square. You can't for some reason you can't do it with square. All right, he comes. I'm trying to snap the ball. It the 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 computer waits till he gets set before you hike the ball but you can do it with triangle you know r1 x circle if you motion them to the other side the only person you can't do that little delayed motion route with is um square so just be you know mindful of that but it's another route combination right here i like to use man even though he gets set you know it's a delayed reaction i mean the, the delay is not there i still like this combination i got a corner route to the left i have a drag a slant and then i got the you know the same up the middle plus the the you know, one play touchdown route. And if they're running cover four, that circle route still gonna get open the same. You can just gotta pass lead it down or to the to the left, you know, to get away from the defenders. But I was only gonna show this one play. Let me let me run another setup for you guys. Um go ahead and streak R1 and I'll put I'll put square on the in route. And we'll go ahead and motion, um, we'll motion Flaner, or we'll motion our tight end. And again, he's going to, I'm going to, he's going to get a speed boost, actually. See, he got that speed boost on the, on the, on the, 
on the drag route. Now he gets that speed boost no matter what route he's on. As long as you motion him and snap it before as he starts to turn around, he'll get a speed boost. So let's go ahead and uh, put him on a slant. He, he he gets that speed, and I'm I'm pass leading that down to get away the, from the defender. He the the tight end gets that speed boost. Now you could um you could motion circle and do the same thing as well, but I don't like doing that when I when I motion circle. This is a play I like to run against cover two. If my opponent's running a lot of cover two, I'll put square on the in route on the out route, and I'll block my running back just for extra protection and uh, have uh. X coming to our tight end coming on the drag. Look at that. Just take take what they're take what they're giving you. We're, we're supposed to go to the underneath route right there to the cornerback build. Let's run that again. Or if you don't if if the out route is not your thing, you can just leave them on that smoke screen. That way if they hey, there we go. Bullet pass that in there next time. You don't want to float it out there. You want to get it to him as quick as possible. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That I, you know, everything that I do with this uh, this formation. Now, when your opponent starts to run defense where they're rushing one lineman and you know putting the other in a spy and the other in a zone and doing some fanciness like that, trying to you know mess you up. This formation has a run. All right, it's the read option. Now, if you have a mobile quarterback, you can keep the ball in, in the quarterback's hand and run the, the option to the to right side. Or you can just, what I do, if I have a slow quarterback, I'm just handing it off to the running back. So if they're running any kind of defense, you know, I'm just, you know, that, that, time, that time the quarterback kept it. Run that one more time. The Ravens defense are tough against the run, man. But you, yeah, you get. I mean, it's not the best run in the game, but if they're running that type of defense where they're rushing one and putting the other in a spy, and you know, just sending one person, you know, it's a run in here that you can do. You know, that's what that's what I'm saying. But um, there's there's another play in this, man. The 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 PA Mountain Reed. So when they start paying attention to the run, you know, when you're running a little read option. You know, you can do the same motion, but this time it's a pass. See, so it's, it's a, nice, a lot of nice plays in this formation, man. But the main play, the main play is this, this play right here. This is my go-to play. And I have game film of this. I'll put it up. But uh, the, main, the main thing I like to do with this PA Mountain Reed is my red zone offense. You know, I, I, I run this right here. I'll put, I'll put square on the in route. I'll put triangle on the, on the drag. And I'll put my 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 running back that's on that uh, on that auto motion coming to the backfield, you know, for the play action. I'm putting him on the out route. Now I'm not looking at the the in route or the the drag on the on the left side. I'm, my main focus on, is on the right side with my uh, my bunch combination. So it's either I'm gonna hit R1 underneath or I'm gonna high pass it to my tight end, you know, for a touchdown. You know, it, and it's it's always it's always open. See right there, we got the underneath. Now I like to run this in um, in goal line situations, and you'll see in the game film how how I utilize that. That's why I'm not gonna mess with the backside this time. And you can just high pass it over the top if they're playing tight coverage. The tight end's gonna get over the top. But anyway, man, thank you guys so much for watching. I just wanted to share this play with you guys. But, you know, you can, you still got, you know, the, the run and the, I didn't even get in the verticals. Now, let's, let's jump into this verticals real quick. Now, you can run your setup like everybody else do. You can put R1 on the streak or you can put them on the drag. We'll keep them on a streak. And um, now you have both of your, your running back and a receiver on the line of scrimmage. So I'm going to put this guy on the drag and I'm going to put this guy on the end to have something on the back side. Or you can put a a comeback and a, and a flat on this side. It's, it's your preference. But with this, you can still motion this guy out and snap it when he gets there and still get that delayed, you know, reaction. Let's 
you know, just like that. So you got verticals. You you got all your favorite plays in this formation, man. This, this, if you like running bunch, this is a nice little formation to you know kind of kind of play with. This time this time we'll wait for him to get set. If they're running cover two, you want to wait for him to get set and just let him do his thing. And then just uh, if you got time, just throw it over the top. As you can see, he was getting open right there, but we didn't have the time. Now right here, it looked like it's gonna be cover one or cover three, and it's this where the one play touchdown comes in, man. You just pass it, pass it right there, and you got a one play touchdown every time, and you'll see it in game film, man. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. Pretty good about their game plan, and thought there were some holes in the defense, and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And now Brady throwing on second down. This will be caught at about the three. Brady now on first down. He's got time in the pocket. Catch here, left side. Gunned down a few guys. Gunned down a few guys trying to steal a second. That would have been fun to watch. To throw, it's Brady. Going to drop this off to me. And he motions the wide receiver. Time running out here on the play clock. Now Brady. And Thomas has it. And he'll be out of... Sanders in motion right. Brady now on first down. And the catch made. This is a man in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practiced now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took those anymore. And the tight end goes in motion left. Brady looking to throw on third and two. Got a man. He finds Sanders. Right, before he comes back downhill to his quarterback. Here's Brady to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown. 